Ah, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another live stream with myself, Hydra. Today we're going to be doing a little bit more map creation with Flowscape. You will see in front of me we have been busily burrowing away in the past, uh, well, probably only about 20 minutes, actually. I just wanted to refine this map a little bit. This is our fishing guild. This is where the fishermen outside of town can be located. Pretty happy with it, looking pretty good. We can get a few decent angles here. You'll notice the frame rate is pretty darn choppy. But hey, <laughs> it'll do, right? I think it looks good, personally. And I'm going to be creating a bunch of other maps like this today. I would like your company while we do so. So, without any further ado, let us start with a brand new seed and we will get to work. In the meantime, I am going to start to share this on social medias and stuff because the only way I can do it, sadly, is after the stream has already started. So, there we go. Right, map making time. Right, there we go. And I think what we're also doing uh, is we'll probably share on the Facebook group. If you're not a member of this, I'd suggest you do join doing some live map creation with Flowscape. Feel free to come check it out. We'll share the battle maps afterwards. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're posting on social media as well. This is really quite something, isn't it? It's really quite something. So we've got some work to do here. We need to clear the plants. We need to get rid of winter. Now, what sort of map are we going to do? That's the question. What sort of map are we going to do? Well, first, let's go for a... Oh, let's go for some ruins. I'll take the... Uh... I'll take the seat on this one because... I know you guys are going to be trickling on in. Uh, so we're going to go for some ruins. I kind of like the shape of that. I might adjust it just a little bit in a moment. Let's first just organise the ground into... We'll go for this mask. I, I generally go for this one because it looks good. That one's not bad too. Turn the tiling right the way up. And then we need to change our textures a little bit so it looks a little less um, organised. This This is looking pretty... Okay, I, I want a little bit more of a muddy woodland, so we'll we'll turn these down darkness-wise a little bit. I'll probably do a stream running down the side. Let's say if we just sculpt, how far below the waterline are we? So if we do this... Okay, I think the water's actually disabled for this. So if I do that... Okay. If we do that... Hey, there we go. Right, so what we can do is just adjust the height till the water is just where we want it to be. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. And now uh, we can change the riverbed and we can put that as something like stones, make them a little bit darker. We can go ahead and adjust this afterwards. And we need to adjust the ground here. Ugh. Okay, no, this this looks too organised. We're going to go for this instead. That helps break up the tile a little bit. Maybe... Oh, not that one. Not that one. Uh, yeah, let's start with this. Right. Woodland, tiles up. Let's go with that up a little bit. Terrain size. Yep, we'll go here. So this is going to be pretty laggy and choppy. Yeah, I know, Mr Jones. I know. Let the team down there. I lied to you. It'll never happen again. No, it will. Yeah, I was just... Uh, I actually got through a lot of work that I was thinking would take a fair while, so here I am. Uh, right, so that's straw. I don't really want straw. What do I want? Not leaves. God, I love these textures. Ground, dirt, rubble. I kind of like that. It's kind of rocky. Okay, we need to break up this woodland because this is this has given me all sorts of... Yeah, I don't like that. Let's go for... Should we just go for... Ooh, that's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. What I'm not so happy with is the grass that's with it. So, stupidly green. No, thank you. Um, let's go with this, but let's fix it at the same time. We'll go here and we'll just change the saturation a little bit. Uh, we'll, change, we'll put the height of the sun down a little bit. 
a little bit less sunshine. There we go. That that's looking a little bit nicer now. And then we'll go white balance ever so slightly down. Turn the vignette up a little bit. There we go. That's looking better. And while we're here, let's just get the sky to something that looks like it'll actually fit the setting a little bit better. There we go. Right. Now, what we're going to need next is just to make sure we're happy with the terrain. I think, you know what, we'll just work with the terrain, actually. We'll just work with it. So we need to just make sure these aren't too big. That's far too big. We'll turn the spawn speed up, size down. Nope, still far too big. Uh, that's better. So what we do is we do auto populate. I want them to be up. I'm going to randomize their sort of waviness a little bit. Now, I don't want them near the water. So we're going to go no trees there. But they can be and we'll have a little clearing at the top. There we go. Time to spawn some trees. Da 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 da. There we go. Now we've got a little bit of a forest. This is looking a little bit more like a map already. Uh, make sure that seems okay. Yeah, fairly happy with that. A few more trees here. There we go. I'm going to do a few of these as well. There we go. And okay, we need to turn the turn that down just a little bit. They're so small. Oh, a little baby tree. Okay. So why is there no trees here? Well, it's because the ground is low, so I'll just have to spawn them manually. There we go. You're looking forward to seeing my players will cause my hair to turn grey with stress. Well, yeah, I think they will. How are you doing, by the way, Jones? How is life treating you? How are things? OK, Ooh, hey, right. So we're going to come here in a second and, and do some stuff. So what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to look for some of these little grey patches here. And I'm going to try and just like clip a few of the trees off of them. So I like to try and work with the scenery a little bit. So yeah, there we go. Um, doink. Doink, doink. Doink. Doink, doink. Doink, doink. Have to be perfect, but I think that I think this works a little bit better. So with these grey patches, what we're going to do now? Oh, by the way, what's happened to our music? Ah, there we go. That's better. Now I can hear you, and I have the music. Right. So now we need stones because this isn't looking yet like a map. Now, I think they will be too gray. Yep, absolutely correct. Too gray. They will be too dark. Yep. And I think this will be just about right. Yep. So what we're going to do is around these points is we're just going to kind of do it, do it, do it, do it. Yep, that'll do. OK. I mean, this is supposed to be speed map making, right? It's probably easier just to do it from up here. OK. And then we'll go yoink, yoink. OK, that's looking better. I prefer the look of that. There we go. There you go. Because it almost looks like it's sort of casting shadows. And what you could do, is you could say, hide the trees. There we go. We can turn the trees back on in a moment. Yeah. There you go. Yo, Shengzi, how's it going? You have a question. Created a scene in Flowscape, recording a part of it in OBS. Uh, it's an MP4. You put it in Scene of Foundry and you can see, but your players can't. You need to put tokens on it. You need to make sure the tokens have vision. You need to activate the scene. You need to do a whole bunch of stuff in order to make sure players can see it. 
Um, they should be able to, though. Like, if, if it's the background, then they should be able to see it. Okay. There we go. Uh, woo. They're on it. Okay, the tokens are on it. Make sure the tokens have vision. Um... Yoink. See how big the file is as well. If it's a big file, it might take them like 10, 15 minutes to load it. Okay. Okay, that looks nice. So then we'll go turn the trees back on. Are there too many trees? Yeah, probably. Yeah, it depends. How big's the file? How big is the file? If it's a big file... You basically want to download the software Handbrake and you want to compress it. The, the Handbrake is an excellent compression software. My videos are generally four, four to five megabytes. I, I honestly think if they're any larger than that, you're going to have a lot of problems. So, right, we're going to create a few of these. We'll give that a few seconds. Um, but if you've done all of the other things, then check the file size, because if it's like 100 meg, okay, if it's 5 megabyte, it's not a problem. Uh, make sure it's an MP4. No late stream, he said. Yeah, sometimes, Captain, I lie. Okay. So then what we're going to need to do is some grass, or we'll go for this type of grass. How's that looking? Yep, okay. Uh, doink. Hoi! Also, Hell Hydra. Check some more things. Yeah, sorry, bud. The only things I can think of that, that happened for me in Foundry is that A, tokens have vision. B, the scene is not active. C, you might need to just move them to another scene and then move them back again. D, the file's too big. E, it's the wrong file type. That's all I can think of right now. Let me know if you have more problems though. Like I'm 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 curious. Okay. This is this is looking good. Yeah, the the Foundry Discord will help as well. Um they they are a good bunch. Right, okay. I will have a few of these stones kicking about because I think we need to break up this colour a little bit. Yeah. Right, okay. So what we're going to do is try and make this look a bit better. We're going to have these um, marshy thingies growing directly upwards. Cancel that. Growing directly upwards. I balls that up. Hey, there we go. Right, there we go. This is how you do water features. Surrounded in Schwabawi. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Apro uses Foundry for your old D&D &D games. Great. Wish people updated these modules. Um, what do you mean up people updated their modules? Foundry's getting updates like every week. Or do you mean you wish more people use Foundry because it's actually updated? I love Foundry. It is... Um, it is absolutely glorious. Doink, doink. Right, there we go. Because uh, now we're here. Oh, look at that. Like, look at that. That's just amazing. That's just amazing. I love this sky. The game is built for looking upwards, sadly, which, you know, isn't ideal. Um, how big are these? Okay, I'm going to do a bit more size variance here. Da da dee da dee da dee dee. Ah, I know what I need to do. Yeah, the new modules are amazing for for Foundry Fantasy. Uh, we're going to go slightly larger for these. Uh, 
Okay, so actually here what I'm doing are some... Ah, oh, a little rock pool. I really like that. Okay, that's cool. I didn't even know that was here. I've accidentally made a rock pool. Now what I can do here is I can turn off spawning on rocks. So what that means is that when I do this, they're not going to spawn right on top of the rocks. That's really cool. Okay, that's neat. Uh, so what we're going to need to do is I want to spawn... Nope. I want to spawn... What's this? Oh, hello. Sure. Why not? Let's just completely change what I was building, but we're fine. Yeah, well, let's make it a little bit smaller, okay? Okay, there we go. Another one here. Another one there, another one there, another one there, another one there. Okay. Fine, you're a little bit on the big side. Ooh, doink. Doink. Uh, da, da, da. Okay. Okay. That's looking good. Right, okay, so now we've got something that looks like it could have been an important religious place once upon a time. But we need something just to solidify that and make it look a little bit more... Okay, the pointed stone is pretty good. I like that. Um, I'm going to have a little think, though. What could I put here? I mean, I can put lots of buildings. What have we got here? Yeah, random stones that don't really belong here. <laughs> um, oh, and then we, then we have random stupid... Yep, nope, you don't belong here either. Um, what else could we do? What else could we do? We could do animals. No, I don't want animals. I could do flowers here. Okay, that's a nice that's a nice way of hinting that there's something important here. Uh, nope, we're going to go a tiny bit less in size. Okay, we're going to have a lot of flowers growing around here. That's enough to hint that there's something something going on. Tell you what we can do is we can lock, 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 we can lock. Because that will do some stuff. Okay. Um, right. Grow some stuff here. Now you are free to grow on the rocks. So what I can do now, and you can go like that, is I can do this. Yoing, yoing. Okay. Looking good, right. Okay, now we need some grass. Um, yep, definitely need more of that. Not on the rocks, not on the rocks. You're not supposed to go on the rocks. Doink, 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 doink. There we go. Right, what else can we put here? What else can we put? That's just regular grass, right? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I like that. Okay, tie a smaller brush. Uh, do these need to be smaller? I don't think so. Like, this this is the size from a player. Okay, yeah, they do need to be a little bit smaller. Nope, 
tiny bit smaller still. Yep, that'll do. La da dee. La da dee dee dee. La da dee 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 dee. Gosh! It's too big! Elven ruins. Yeah, pretty much, Arthur. Old sacrificial pit. Now we're going for more of the, like, uh, even like a druidic place of worship. So it doesn't necessarily have to be elven, but it's more likely that the elves would at least know what it is. Uh, but yes, that that's the, the sort of theme we're running with here. Something of... Um, could have been like an old Tal worshipping site, maybe uh, Raya. Uh, or... Or a place that the, the elven uh, folk worship their god. Hydro streaming? I know, I lied as well. So I can press F here and be like, yo guys, you find yourself at some, some creepy, creepy ruins. Yeah, the, the problem is, is I don't like putting animals in, primarily because if your players go here, they're going to look at it. And, yeah, it's a webway. That's right, it's a webway. There's going to become a... Ugh, good lord. Okay, right, this is what we need. Uh, more size variants, slightly larger rocks. It's raining rocks. This is what you do when your uh, party have misbehaved. You just do this over their head. Okay. There's something about this that's a little bit off at the mo, and I can't put my finger on it. There's something not quite right. I'll tell you what I'm going to try and do. I'm just going to go to the original ground types. Okay, that looks okay. That's interesting, a little bit more mucky. Uh, well, let's find an angle I like first. I think that's the problem, is I don't have, like, an angle that I like. Prepping maps. Uh, not sure of the nature of the place. Yeah, so I'm making maps for our Warhammer Fantasy uh, campaign, although I am just kind of making maps at the moment um, with no particular goal in mind, so... This is Shakira. <laughs> it's not Shakira, it's it's the uh, the Witcher soundtrack. I could have been a singer. Right? Um le, 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 le. I think it's a bit too colourful here. I know what we need. I know what this is missing. There's one thing that this map is missing that will fix everything. Right, ground fog. Right, height. Right, down a little bit. Turn that off. Height goes down just a little. Mount. Lots of fog. Density. Nah, not too dense. La la. La 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 la. Okay, let's. A little bit of that. Size. There we go. Height. Okay, slightly higher, but a little bit lower. Yeah, I like Flowscape, I do. I really do. I think it's uh, density. Okay, that's nice. Sparsity. No, no. Tiny bit there. Diffusion? Don't know what that does. Okay, that'll do down there. Okay. 
and that also hides the edge of this quite nicely i like that that's good we don't know in fact uh, the past of this place could rest in ancient tower elven ruins forgotten beastman camp old altar of the gods who knows exactly that's the idea this is just anything anything at all whatever your imagination says is exactly what it is seashells that's not what we want um i just feel like there's something here that needs to be here that i've not put down yet um i know what we we can do okay i've got an idea a very small touch but not a chest not a chest i'm looking for something that could be not a table either i don't want a bloody table excuse me flowers how did you get up there um Okay, I know what I'm looking for now. I actually know what I'm looking for. Uh, I just don't know where it is. Right, make this smaller. Right, there we go. Now we're just going to need to make something here that vaguely resembles a shrine. Let's have a think. What could resemble a shrine that we have? I mean, we could put some flowers down beside this. It's a hot tub. <laughs> I mean, that is that would do in a way. Um, we, we could possibly do a few stone tiles here to be like, yeah, look, this was once a... Uh, like... But then you go down here and you'll be like, oh, look, the tiles don't touch the floor properly. Oh, and she, no one's going to be that German, are they? Okay. So we might have to adjust the floor for that to make sense. I think we might have... Uh, Yeah, that, that's it. That's it. That's what we needed. Just something to, to hint that this was a, a once civilized place. Once upon a time. I like that. That's gorgeous. I'm going to have a sip of beer. Well done, Hydra. Don't touch the floor. <laughs> Just don't touch the floor. Yeah, if you touch the floor, bad things happen. All right, so that's another map. And if you were interested in Flowscape, you could basically go here, you could select map. And and there you go. There's your battle map. Oh, what's that? It doesn't have grids. Well, how about now? There's your grids. And you could choose the size. And you could create an absolutely ginormous image. That's just created an 8K image of this, which basically means you could zoom in down to a gnat's piss. You could actually... Uh, I think I'd probably go like this. Good lord, that's actually really nice. I like that. I like that a lot. That's a really nice ambush. I, I prefer narrative maps, and I love the fact that the fog kind of hides what's in the background. What we do need to do, just to try and disguise the the edge of the map is just uh, a few trees around the edge just to make sure that there's no hard edges whoa okay well uh, yeah this is where the frame rate dies by the way 1080 ti not happy Okay, don't worry, don't worry, it won't die. It won't die, everything's fine. There you go. That is absolutely awesome. Hydro do Nat's piss. <laughs> right, okay, so we're going to save this. Another map saved. Um, we'll save that there. I really like that one, actually. That's nice. Right, guys, chuck me some ideas in the chat. What sort of map would you like me to do? Just name me an idea. 
Uh, what sort of map could we do? Give me an idea. What can we do? I I will await your instructions. A city. I know I'm not telling you. Shut up. <laughs> God damn you, Josh. God damn you. I, I've done one city, okay? Well, it's technically a town. But that, that that's as much <laughs> a dwarf fortress. Ooh, interesting. City in the mountain. Ooh, that's a cool idea. Ah, a post battlefield. Okay. Sunny beach, bathhouse. Your trolls. Okay. Um Marshlands. Okay, I'm gonna combine marshlands and a map where a battle was fought. Um, I might go. I might move on to the dwarf thing afterwards and put the sun on top of it just to uh, combine it with Thork's idea, and maybe maybe it will have a garden underground as well just to, just to make Captain happy. I'm sorry, I can't please all of you all at once. I only have so many orifices and extremities. Right, so we're gonna go here. We're gonna go height and just bring that. Uh... There we go. I'm going to sculpt a little bit. Yep, yep, dee. Right, there we go. Okay. Well. Well. Right. Right, there we go. More, slightly more, slightly more. So we're looking for like scorched earth here. Okay, so that puddle's a bit too big, so we're just gonna. Right, okay. Ground one, brightness. Let's turn that down. Okay, so ground one. Ground two. Okay, so we'll go with... I mean, there could be lots of different battlefields. Sort of... Uh... Okay, let's go with mask. Let's go with tiny amounts of grass. So number two can be that. Tiny amounts of grass. But number one's going to be the more prevalent... What's the riverbed at the mo actually? Right, that's not what we're looking for. Actually, we could go for like. What's this? Stones. Oh, I like this song. Reminds me a little bit of Ra Ra Rasputin. Okay, I want slightly less green. Tell you what I can do actually that will fix this a little bit. It's A, I can do this to make it just look a little bit more miserable. That looks better already. Lighting is everything in this tiny bit down with the saturation. Tiny bit up with vignettes, because that I mean that just makes such a difference. We'll actually go um Okay. Height. There you go. There we go. So this is the map in which you die. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go down a little bit in size. Okay, that's good. Right, so we're going to go auto-spawn. I want them pointing upwards, but I want to vary them a fair bit. I don't want them in the water. But anywhere other than that is fine. Right, let's go. That'll do. Okay. Okay. So we could do some of these as well. I don't like them as much, you know. I really don't. Like maybe if I do them much smaller. No, they don't suit this. Like the the colour just doesn't suit it as much. Uh, how about some wiry trees like these? Mm, no. I think that looks okay. I think that looks okay, and, and honestly, like, already that's that's not too bad in terms of, like, a battle map. Ah, I know what we're missing out. 
Right. Right, there we go. So what we're going to have to do is do some... Oh, no, cancel that. Going to do some grass. Don't want the grass in the water. Basically, anywhere else is fine. Right, lots of grass. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Actually, I want more of this grass. I want it to look a bit more dead. There we go. I'm missing dead people. Yeah, I don't have dead bodies. Um, I do need more things that look dead, though. I do need more things that look dead. Right, okay, here's what we need. We need twigs, large sticks, large sticks. No, larger, larger, larger. Yep, there we go. There we go. Giants, big stones, rocks fall, everyone dies. There you go. Rocks all over the show. And, right, you can actually be in the water if you like. Doink. Okay, too big, too big. Abort. Nope. Even smaller still. That's better. That's better. That's better. What about swamp fire? You don't know in English. We call it Forgo Fatur. I don't know that. This could be Sylvania. Yeah, definitely. Sylvanian marsh. I mean, you, you could put like a little witch's house in the... Uh, <laughs> in the arse end of here. Be like a creepy house in the middle of nowhere. I mean, you'd have to play with the lighting to make that look slightly more believable, but it's doable. Uh, right, what do we need now? Um, I think we need a few of these. Yeah, not many. Just, just break it up a little bit in terms of colour. Um, Right, and what I'll probably do is, if I go here, I'll look for the dark bits and just sort of manually spawn a load of stones there. Hmm. Whoa, steady on. I think that's a few too many stones, actually. Yeah, let's, let's just calm down a bit there. Um, no, we'll, we'll keep it like that. That's enough for now. Yeah, I don't have dead bodies or anything like that. Actually, that's, that's not technically true. Somewhere there is a skeleton thing. I could do a meerkat. <laughs> Hello and welcome to meerkat.com where I can fight in the, the meerkat. I could do a dragon. Rawr. Uh But sadly there is... I do like them. No, I, I didn't want to put them there. I don't want like... Magical pixie fairies. There we go. That's better. No magical pixie fairies. Okay. I could put fish in. I could put a giant fish in. Did that even spawn the fish? Oh dear, that's terrifying. Durden. Oh my god, that would be so spooky if you couldn't actually... Yeah, sadly it just kind of goes through the land as well. That, that's, um... No dragons allowed. Yeah, fair enough. I understand your pain. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. That's better. Um... Uh... 
what can we do here? Okay, so we'll make this look like it actually had... Right, where did they die? Here, okay. This is where the last stand was. Okay, what can we put in here to uh, to sell this a bit better? Need to make it look like it was it was a camp. Okay, one cart will be on its side. Hmm. No, not you. What else are we going to do here? Let's do this first. Two, there, there, there. Okay, then we can lock that. Lock, 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 lock. Okay. Probably should have adjusted it first. Yep, so now I have to unlock it before I can click it. Excuse me. Doink, there we go. Right, and we're going to go get... I'm looking for some flags. In Warhammer, you die from taking a dump wrong. <laughs> I mean, that's that's not untrue. It's not untrue. In the DNG you're playing, you got um, a kill timer. Kill timer. Kill timer. Is a timer a monster? Um. Okay. Okay. What what else can we do here? Yeah, I'm not feeling this quite so much. This is uh Something went wrong here. What went wrong? Maybe they were constructing something and it fell down. Like, they were constructing one of these and it went... Eah! That's the actual sound effect it made. Okay. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere, right? Broken watchtower. Yeah, that's what we need. Um, there is the castle components. Let's put that there just for now. Okay. Just want them looking a little bit smaller. Right. That. Okay, what else can we do here? You want to figure out how to extract assets from Vermintide 2 for use in Flowscape. Oh my god, that would be amazing, but I don't think they're actually built as individual assets. Okay, so we need to see if we can find an actual... So we could probably turn that into like a, a tower that was in construction.
Okay, let, let's do this. Whoa. Right. Okay, so now what we need is I've got this. I've got I've got this. Trust in me. Um Doink. Um right, what am I looking for? Uh, where are you? Not you're not there. <laughs> where are you? Right. Okay. We got this. Doink, 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 doink. Right. But... But that kind of works, right? That kind of works. Kind of works, okay. 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 Yoink. Probably should just copy paste the other one, but that that's not bad. That's not bad. Okay. There we go. To me, to me. Oh, should we leave that sticking out a little bit, actually? It might look better. Right, there we go. Okay, this is this is working. Uh, that is not how you say it, but a timer is an evil goddess of dragons and is locked away to one of the seven levels of hell. Okay, but in your name, she was in our uh, your name. Yeah, she was summoned to your plane, and you eventually have to kill her. Mm. Fair enough. Okay, rather you than me. Right, so that's looking good. Um, what I would like is like a flame effect. Ah, and I think what I need is like a do 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 do. No, no, I don't. So what I need to do now is locked, 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 locked. No, locked, locked, locked. Because now, yes, 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 yes. Now I can go for like small little greeny bits. Right, greeny bits, grow, my darlings, grow. Oh, I know what I can do. If I do... Grow... Only above... There. With no limit in height. Now, we look for the green. Yes. Yes. Grow, my pretties, grow. You shall be reclaimed by nature. 
I mean, was there a battle? Or did folk just die? Because, you know, Warhammer. It's pretty cool. The tower is wonky. Of course it is. It's fallen down, partly. Like, there's a little keep up there. Ooh, I wonder who sits up there. Okay. Yeah, that that's a little better. They they were a bit out of scale. I actually think the fence is also a little bit big too, but you know. Uh right, we'll we'll stop the growing now. And uh, I, I just feel like it's not a real map unless you have reeds. They need to be quite big as well. I don't know, I just have a thing for them, okay? Sue me. Okay, there. And... There. Right, now I think just a little bit of grass. Which, and the grass will be slightly higher up. And there. There we go. Tower's wonky. Top and rest tower don't have the same angles. No, they don't, because it shifted underneath, but it managed to stay completely level somehow. Like, it looks like it's kind of sh shimmied this to the side. Like, that shimmied that way, and the tower's still level. I I'll put a little angle on it, but... I kind of like the fact that it doesn't match up. I kind of like it. There you go. What is this? You, sir, are an orange item. Meow. Problem solved. Ah. I mean, come on. That's pretty good, right? That's pretty good. And now, naturally, we'll... Should we just keep doing more grass? We'll keep doing more grass for a moment. No, we'll go low on fog, but we'll turn on ground fog. Okay, we need your speed down, your height up. I think we've established that. Altitude. There we go, direction of the sun. I like... I like that. I could do the sun a bit higher. No, I like the shadows. I like the shadows. Temperature. Uh, we'll go saturation down a little bit more. A little bit more vignette. A little bit more of this. I do like it. Oh, so good. So good. Colour lights of the edge of the map with the fog. Yeah, I need this this to be a little less bright. Uh... Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, that's not bad, right? We can stop spawning grass now, I think. That's not bad at all. Altitude. Okay. So we're going to do that, but we're going to turn the density down a bit. So you said battleground, right? Like, I don't... Does this qualify as a battleground? Welcome to Sylvania. You're probably going to die here. Here, 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 here. Something Transylvanian. Here, here, here. Um, I do not like this. It is too large. Uh, 
And that tower is where your players are going to meet Vlad von Karstein. <laughs> Vlad von Karstein and his giant, giant Wong. You'll step inside camp. Everybody seems to be dead. Like, the nice thing I, about these maps is that you can just take 20 pictures, right? We can, you can go here. You are walking through the land. And all of a sudden, giant babushka jumps from tower and crushes you like bear. Giant babushka is bear. You stand on top of rock, the other side of the end of the world. You see giant green arrow. And water that is too reflective for the map. 100% have a fight here at some point. Yeah, th these are very, like, dead marshes. I like this. I like this a lot. Oh, it's just so easy to create really good maps on this. That bloody accent. What do you talk about? I am from Transylvania. Duh. Oh no, raining rocks. What I do next? <laughs> oh dear, that's not my normal go-to uh, Russian accent, but, you know, it's a fun one at least. Okay. So... Ah, I tell you what we could do. <gasps> hmm. A random bucket. Well, you know what? It it doesn't need anything else. This is this is perfect. Ha huh, yeah, my German is still very good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm sorry in advance for the next campaign because all of the accents will be utterly <laughs> um, insulting to anyone from the uh, from those lands. Right, that's a nice. Scrags likes your dwarven accent. Well, there you go. Heard a lot of Russians who try to speak English. Hydra just sounds cheesy. Be quiet. I talk to you with a perfect English blade. If I wanted to sound more Russian blit, I would likely be more drunk most of the blit. Most of the time blit. There you go, that's Russian. That's how they speak. Uh, right, next map. Right, what are we doing next? Dwarven Mountains, Dwarven Mountains, that's what we're doing. Random Seed. I like this music. It's a bit too chipper for me, but hey. I do not like cheese. I am from Russia. In Russia, cheese make you. What? Okay. Clear plants. Plants insult me. Okay, where are we? What are we gonna do? Um. Doing da doing da ding 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 ding. ding. <laughs> I like this song. Unnecessarily happy. Yeah, I'm so happy. Okay. Right. Change the sky so it looks more depressing. Put the saturation down quite a lot. Ugh, I have to zoom out. Right, the question is, is do I have to actually make my own or can I get away with putting assets like this in here? Yeah, okay, I actually have to make my own, don't I? Okay. Doink. Hmm. Mountain? Nope. Mountain? Uh, yeah, sure. Size needs to be larger. Size needs to be larger. Size needs to be larger. High. Yep. Mm. Height will be very large. Tiling. Make map look huge. Right. Then we need to... Establish what sort of mountains we do. 
We will do this. Bleed. Right. So hang on. Do we want tiny little stones? Oh my god, I'm at the seaside! Okay, so that kind of works for a mountain. That's more like Rocky Mountain. I like that. Okay, but instead of those bits, what else could we do? Grass? Nope. Stony bits? Nope. Random bits of earth? No, we need a smoother, smoother thing between them. Ugh. Okay, so if we go for this first and like darken it down a bit. And for number two, we need like a grey that's similar, but... Yeah, ugh. No. This is too like... Aha! There we go. Riverbed can be this, but brightness right the way down. There we go, turn that up a little bit. Hi. Right, now I'm going to have to try and find something that can be small enough to pass as a dwarven carrack. Like that. We're going to have issues making this actually look like a dwarven carrack, though. Good place for an ambush. Do Texas accent. Yeehaw. There you go. <laughs> Howdy doody, party Judy. Okay. So, they're kind of... Kind of dwarven enough, I guess. So what we probably need is... Let's figure out which, which mountain are the dwarfs going to live in. Probably that one, right? Or this one. Oh, I know what I need. I need one of these between two mountains, so... Actually... Whoa! Abort. Captain, we have a problem. Um... It's got to line up perfectly. That's good enough. That's good enough. Okay, so then we're going to need some sort of entrance into the mountain. Oh, bullshit. Oh, bullshit. I reckon two of those. There you go. That's it right there. Where does it, where does it join? You can't even see. It's like the perfectly glued china plate, except... Yeah, there is like a tiny little. Would we ever get that perfect? No, actually, by the looks of it. That is good enough, ladies and gentlemen. That is good enough. Right. Okay. Do 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 do. Right. You go down here. Ah. The corner won't work unless I do it this way. 
Yeah. Yoink. That's fine. No one's going to be looking at it from the top. Well, somebody's going to start playing around with the ground in a second, aren't they? It's the only way around this crap. Ugh. Uh, the problem is, is dwarven architecture is just so, like, niche. You know, it's it's just its own thing. So unless you've got assets that look perfectly dwarven, you're going to have a bit of a bad time. Ooh, actually. Will you sync up here? Actually, it looks all right. I know that's not supposed to be an entrance, but I don't care. No one knows. That looks good. Yeah, fine. Okay, it doesn't sync up properly. It does now. There we go. How's it going, Mac? We will know it there. <laughs> no, you won't. Now you kind of want this program to play with Thorg. It's ten bucks. 10 bucks so that's that's why i like it you know damn well that when you play this map everyone will be commenting about that corner you know, they'll be like oh hydra can we walk in here and see what's here it's a wall i want man the barricades fire the arrows ignore the wall in the way ignore the fact that this is horribly staggered oh bulls dick pants <sighs> god damn it now look what you've done Now everything has to change. There we go. As if a dwarf would make a door that didn't line up properly. Right, okay, so what we're going to have to do is find... Doink. Something that has a... Like a gatehouse. I have an idea. I mean, that's obviously not appropriate, but give it time. No. Oh, yeah, I've got an idea. I'm going to actually have to fix this shit, aren't I? Okay, this is fine, this is fine, and, and no one cares that there's not actually a door there. There we go. Mm. Okay. Right, now... Now, we just need... Oh, hang on. The, the, this will this will help. <laughs> I have a cunning plan. Height. Let's go for a very low sun, and then we go for. There you go. I mean, it doesn't lead anywhere, but it's fine. Lock, lock, lock. Oh no, lock, lock. Lock. Look, I'm trying to do a Dwarven City and I don't have the assets. It's just lined up horribly. Be quiet, you. Not asymmetric, put it in the Book of Grudges. <laughs> put it all in the Book of This is a lot of grudges here. Um. Right. You're there... Uh, you're there. 
doink. Mm. Yeah, that's right. There's a staircase inside there. And it's not the same level anymore. Okay, that kind of works. What we need to make this more believable is... I mean, it's a dwarven carrick, right? Oh, look, it's an awesome carrick. Gee, Daddy, can we go to the carrick? No. Um. Will this work? Uh, no. I need something with a door that sticks out a little bit. Give me time. First, we must... Why did you go for a bloody... Now the entire clan of slayers. Truth. Okay. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Someone's got to have a door that sticks out a little bit. Well, okay, no one there does. Hmm... Okay. This will work. Master of cunning. Master of cunning. All we need is just a little bit more of that. This this is the finest Dowie construction. The finest. Oh my word. Touch me. Improvisation. It's an awesome door. You can't cheat yourself. Yes, you can. What tool is this? Attila, this is Flowscope. And that is the best door you've ever seen. What's that? It needs more details. I know. I'm working on it. Um, what's, What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Flags? No, dwarves don't use those sorts of flags. Oh, we could, we could do like a... On the edge. Um, hanging. Okay, well, that, that, uh, yeah. well, they don't go any smaller. Well, dicks. Um, doink, 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 doink. I know it's not a stone door and they're dwarfs. That's why it's going to have some of this. And you're like, Hydra, what is that exactly? I don't know. Just makes the door look a little bit more real. That's a fine fort right there. Right, so what we're going to have to do is somehow make this scenery look more rocky so what we could do is we just go really large boulders everywhere and be like there look there's giant mountains everywhere good lord that looks terrible okay this 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 doesn't work this doesn't work i i, I honestly think that we've we've done as best as we can and, and this is just gonna have to do so uh, we can go for some trees down in the valley. That might make this look a little bit more real, right? How big are these? Yeah, that that's all right. We all know it's not a door. No, you don't. Don't lie to me. Okay. Right. Stop that there. We'll go with some of these. Okay. We'll go with some of these. And we'll 
go with a few scrawny trees, like maybe some of these. No. Okay, and I think that's about as good as we get here. Right, you know what makes every map look better? As far as I can tell. <laughs> we need fog. Altitude. Hang on, we can disguise how bad this is with fog. Yes, yeah, that'll do. Okay, how I hang on. I just need to complete the bridge first. I hang on, I can't see it anymore. <coughs> Right, there we go. Oh, come back, Fog. I can see all my mistakes again. Okay. Right, down we go. Right. Uh... Right. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Gonna go sculpt. Oh, this is where it goes bad. There you go. <laughs> that looks good. You just can't see it now. Um, okay, so we'll go vignette. Dwarven Karak. I'll tell you what would make, make this look a little bit prettier too. Oh, it's, we're sinking, sir! <laughs> Somebody forgot to put the plug in! Okay. There we go. Oh, that's what you want. I'll oh, go away, fog. Come on, I'm trying to edit here. Um, so we'll turn the fog up a little bit. But we need to create, increase the height. Turn the speed down a little bit. Put the density down a little bit. Put the altitude down a, a smidge. The ground fog height can come up a bit. There you go. I mean, that's not bad. Lights on the bridge. Yeah, it does kind of need some lights. Oh, I, I know what we could do. We could do some... Um, I mean, there are fires. Uh, doink. Now when you're looking at here you can you can oh you can see the fact that there's no fire up there because <coughs> where, where did it where the rest of this fog come from? Come on. Seriously. Uh density yeah, I didn't put the density up that high. Oh, was I just too high? Okay, how about if we put the sun up a little more? Change the direction. No, it looks better when it's in the shade. Definitely looks better when it's in the shade. Density. Okay, man, there's so much to play with here. Yeah, that's it. That's better. Okay, I will try and do some lights. Correct the right tower before the grudge. What, what's wrong with the right tower? What's wrong with it? Huh? Huh? The door lines up. There's nothing wrong. Everything's fine. Blooming dwarfs. Can't, can't keep them happy. 
Oh my god. I can't see anything. Right, okay, what have we got here? Um, rocks? And they're, they're not really good rocks, are they, for this? Yeah, okay, let, let's do some mountain bush. Mountain bush? Okay, uh, we'll go a little bit higher, we'll go up here. I don't want you to spawn them on the rocks or buildings, so... Sort of size are we? Way too big. And doink. Oh, for God's sake, who put a bush? Right, that's a grudge right there. Right, goddamn tree here. Be gone. Right, I still think that's that's not bad going. I mean, yes, I'm resorting to fog, basically hiding it. But it is on the Misty Mountain. I mean, fine. Half of my screen is grey. What do you want me to do? You're the one that decided to just make something... you look at here, Josh. Me and you are going to have words. Ooh, black and white. Very nice. Vignette, more vignette. Ah, that's better. Okay, so what we need to do is we do need to adjust the fog a little bit because it is a little bit problematic because it actually looks kind of good like this. And then the fog comes back. Okay, we'll do that, but we'll go density way down. Okay, speed, turbulence. Okay, let's make that more dense, but a little bit lower down in the valleys. I don't like the way the lighting hits over here. Yeah, the fog looks a bit weird with the lighting. Well, I think for now that's going to have to be... I mean, considering this, this is not necessarily designed for this I'm happy enough with that look Gorge I'm sorry bud but I've only got like 10 different assets for a castle so <laughs> I can't make a dwarven fortress when I don't have dwarven assets like the only thing I can think of is to like try and take bits and I, I agree with you it looks a bit more empire like Ugh, I, I don't really think that there's anything else I can do, though. Like, maybe, maybe having these all the same height would help. I agree with you. Uh, but... Alas, I'm a little stuck for options. I'm a little stuck. Yeah. And I can't remove the top of that as well without removing my door, so... <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if there's... Ugh, circular's definitely not going to work. But these are basically my castle assets. So these are the ones I've got, and they're all incredibly gothic and vampiric. So, unfortunately, that's all I've got to work with. So, uh, I mean, maybe? Yeah, <laughs> that's cool, man. I'm just, I'm just, uh, I'm just being salty. But, um, no, it's, that is as close as you're going to get, I think, with dwarven architecture. I am going to turn the fog off, though, because it's actually just annoying me now that I can't see my beautiful work. Ah, no, I just actually have to turn the main fog setting down. Let 
There you go. That's good. People have imported assets into Flowscape using Sketchfab. Maybe you could do that. I've had a look. Um, there aren't... If there was something really good on there, it wouldn't be free. And if it was, you wouldn't have copyright to it. So I have copyright to use anything on here as much as I like. I can even sell it if I want. Could I do that with anything else? Not necessarily. So that's kind of the issue. The free stuff on Sketchfab is not... Um, is not necessarily award-winning that I've seen. There is some good stuff, but I don't know. I don't know. Right, let's see what else we can do. But that being said, if anyone finds some good stuff on there, please tell me. Please tell me. Should left it be the previous height. I agree. Tom Manor Orchid. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of fighting there. <laughs> We've already got an orchid on the main map. So let's let's actually load Tarm Manor for a second here. Well, we'll just load up my previous map while you guys are giving me ideas as to what I should make. Do you have ideas? Is there anything you would like to be made? Let me know. Just wait for it to load. It might take a while in the orchid why would they fight in the orchid they could go scrumping they might be like we can't afford to eat today we need apples ah uh, yes the good old fashioned six frames per second while the camera decides to be like ah here's where we are now is this where we're going or is this a horrible lie yep the map does this when it's loading in because it's so much shit for it to deal with. Sometimes I have to just give up and load it again. Okay, where are you? Okay, I'm below the skyline. I'll go up. I'm so disorientated. Okay, let's just change the sky for a second here. Somewhere here is a map. Can you see it? Okay, let's have a look. I was there a moment ago, and I made the mistake of moving my map. Alright, let's just load it again. I give up. Okay. Oi, oi, Savaloy. How's it going, Roland? Um, cattle farm. Ooh, okay. Oh, I like the idea of a toll booth on the road. Yeah, maybe a random toll house. I like that. That's kind of cool. Moore's Garden. Moore's Garden is kind of cool. We do actually have the architecture that would kind of work with that as well. An orc camp. Uh, I don't know as I have assets to do more than like a goblin camp. Right. So it, it it's loading now, but it it'll need a minute, so don't worry. It needs a minute or two. Just be patient. Either that or we zap it and start again. Yeah, I think I will actually zap it and start again. Doink. It does quite often kind of die when I load my map because my map's so huge. Yeah, Moore's Garden is really nice in Vermintide. I could probably take the swamp one that I did and yeah, add a load of the gothic buildings to it. That's a really cool idea though, Arthur. Like that would work quite well. I like that. Some good old fashioned undead. That's what every campaign needs, right? Right, we're loading back up. There we go. I think I'm going to do a toll booth on the road. Just because I can make that one in a few minutes. That will that'll be nice and easy. What I just want to do first to uh, settle, my, settle my nerves. Oh my god, have you got enough grass here? Ah, there's a tree in my face. Oh, hello, Africa. Cool. Uh, right. 
load. And now we wait. Are you guys still getting the, the background buzz, by the way, or has that stopped happening? Make a dwarven bloody. Why did I why did I say yes to that? <laughs> it wasn't bad though, as far as dwarven characters are concerned. I'm gonna actually Google on the other screen for now. Dwarven Karak. Yeah. You kind of just need it in the face of the mountain. Right. There we go. There's the town. And we'll go doink. And here's one I made earlier. And that's the camera angle right there. Obviously, the path when you load in, for some reason, you every time you have to go paint, change the tiling, and then, you know, decide which sort of path you would like. I also think you have to go to the riverbed as well and make that darker every single time. But that's okay. That's This is the town of Tarm. Do you mind which, in my opinion, is the best town I've seen? Opportunity for a piss of the god dead players with some tomb exploration and acquisition. Yes, yes. A very good opportunity to do that. I like this because we can go, oh, what's that? You fancy a bit of snow? Oh, there's your snow. All your snow. We've got bloom turned on, which is why it looks a bit weird. But what I need to actually do is do a bunch of um, images of this town. So I need to do some different times of day. So I need to do like a morning image. Maybe morning there. Evening there. Do a couple. Probably a couple like late evening. So temperature, bring that down a little bit. White balance, bring that down a bit. Saturation down a little bit too. Vignette, oh no, we like bloom. Oh, turn off that. There we go, intensity, bring that down. Sometimes when it goes too dark, you kind of lose all texture, if you know what I mean. So I think sometimes you're better off doing like keeping the sun high, just turning the intensity. No, no why, why is it doing that? Lens flare. What's the setting for that? It's not fit. It's not exposure. It's not white balance. It's not aperture, is it? No, it's one of the others. Ambient light. So you could do that. We've got the intensity. Ah, AO radius, I think. White balance. Oh my god. I didn't know you could do this sort of style. It's kind of like a picture. I like that. AO strength. Fog. Yeah, we don't really need fog. Sky brightness. Ambient light. So many settings to play with here. Like, there is so many damn settings. I like that. That's nice. You have snow blindness. Yeah, the only good Dwarven building set uh, ruins piece and was $25. Mm, yeah, the other issue is, is there has to be a specific um, file type, um, Jones, because I, I found a few that I really liked and I've requested people to convert them for me. No one so far has done it. Um, so that kind of sucks. 
So what does AO do? Well, that AO doesn't look like it's done too much. Ambient light here is just basically allows for a little bit more shadow when the sun's not doing its job. Do a little bit more there. I like that. That's really nice. Ah, oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. Like, it, once we do all of the lights, that would be a really neat map. Like, you know. Except for the fact that that's lighting up. Why is this light lighting them up? Dear Light, will you please physics? Sincerely, Hydra. Well, that kind of fixes it. And I'll tell you one thing I really like is having the uh, the um, blurred focus. Like, you can just do, like, the, the party head to the southern gate. They look around. There's a giant feckin' rainbow, as if to say, well done. Oh, it's just so beautiful. Thorg looks out. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Thorg goes to make out corner, sits atop of the rocks, and stares at the manor that he wants to own, and wonders why there is a tree floating. Ah, oh, that's a nice view, actually. A view from the mountain, behind Tarm Manor. I mean, I haven't built it for this view, but... What can we get away with here? That's kind of cool. Let's just turn some lights back on so I can actually appreciate this. Really intense daylight. We do that with a, with a bit less... Okay, we do that. Ambient light. A little more ambient light. There we go. That's quite a nice picture. Like, obviously we got some shit there to sort out, but... That's actually not a bad angle of the town. What do you guys think? This this angle or the other one? I think the other one is a better view. And I can, I can neaten that up pretty quick just by, you know... Boobity-boo, here's some trees. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. Covered it up. Easy. Nice. Only thing you can think of is maybe ask people in Discord if they're any good at Sketchfab. Ask them to make stuff. <laughs> well, that is, that's an idea. Dear people, please do things for me. Oh my god, that just... it does, That forest is way too feckin' big. It's no wonder this lags like a motherfucker. I am pleased with that. Although I would say that that is way too... Intense. There we go. Height. There we go. Saturate. We could add... Uh, there we go. Makes a big difference as well what sky you go for. There you go. That's the one I like. There, There is a lot to lighting in this. There is a lot to think about. I quite like the fog. Not that fog though. I like the ground fog here. But I'm not going to be doing video files of this. The reason being is you can eight, you can export an 8K resolution image via this software, which which I can't record otherwise. So vignette, yeah, we need a little bit of vignette. Aperture, bloom, we don't want bloom. Hide the fog. There we go. 
I think that's probably going to be the main picture. What about vision? What about the vision from who comes from the river? It's a good idea. Never actually looked at it from here. That's the sight you'd be greeted with. Bakery up ahead, Lord's Manor on the right, coaching in on the left. Whoa, a small dock here. That's pretty nice, actually. And I like the mine in the back, uh, the, the mountain in the background, too. That's a nice picture. I'll probably take, like, a, a handful of maps. More than a handful, even, of images, but... No, 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 it's okay. It's not built to be viewed from that way. Okay, how about on the hill looking down into the town? I like that. Zombie pirates attack from the river. Yeah. Yeah. And that's on one of the hills adjacent to the town. Okay, that, that kind of highlights my bald bits of my map. <laughs> okay. Nice. This is good, though. This is good. Well... And there are, there are some lovely pictures you can take of this. Like, I've probably got... I reckon a hundred pictures I can take of this. So once I get like the main weather setting I like, what I'd really like is a hotkey. So you could change the lighting, like lighting one, two, three, four, five. So I can go to all of these places and take five screenshots with the different lightings. Is that a bit excessive? Yes, yes, it is. Is that what I'm going to do for my players? Yes, it is. Is it needed for them to have fun? No, not at all, but... That's, that's just... I, I'm really impressed. Right, anyway. Uh, with the software, um, and partially myself. New seed. Let's do it. Whoa, a little bit more crafting. Uh, what are we going to make this time, guys? Ah, that's right. We're going to do a road ambush. Uh, well, a toll gate. A toll house. We'll go for... Doink, doink. Earth. Doink. Uh, water. Huh. Let's go... No water. Let's go... Should we go across here? Yeah, that'll do. I like this. I like this. Let's go... What am I thinking? Terrain size? Yep. Just want the option there. And we're going to need some sort of bridge. Right. I think this is actually in the castle section, the bit I'm looking for. I mean, we could use that as a bridge, but I'll look for... No, I don't think we'll do stone. This won't, this won't be good enough for stone. Could maybe do that, but... No, 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 no. Oh, Shakira. Uh, okay, that one, that one, or that one. Right, you go there. And we go there. Hold shift. Right, now we have to do some ground sculpting. La 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 la. <laughs> so this is the Witcher 3 soundtrack. Which uh, I do kind of like. It's 
especially the Shakira soundtrack. Okay. Strength down. There we go. So the road's going to go from there down here. So now what we do is we just quickly put the strength up and we go... Okay. We'll go here. I'd like it to be fairly obvious which bit's the, the road. Now I can sort of iron that out. There we go. And then we can paint. Dirt path. Obviously, I'm not that fond of this particular dirt option. Okay. Yoink. 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 Okay, problem is, is the path is too narrow. Clear. Do, do, do. Okay, so what else can we do? We could do that. We could do this. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Problem is, is these just don't really work that well. That's like the best road. Okay, hang on. Let's uh let's just sort this first. Okay, I kinda like that. Yeah, I kinda like that. Let's uh let's see what we can do with this. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Okay, well, we, we can we can make this work. I just need to sculpt a little bit more. I need somewhere to put the toll house. That's not, like, stupidly hilly. There you go. That's a bit better now. Right. So now we can go... Now, do those stones match? Nope. How about these ones? Do they look all right? Yes, they do. So we'll put that there, put that there. Go down a tiny bit in size, ruffle them around and do a little bit more of a shuffle. Mm -hmm. It'll look better once it's got some greeny, greeny on it too. Okay, I like this. I like this. Um, do, 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 do. <laughs> okay, stones everywhere. 11th of December, day when the uh, toll starts to mow his inevitable meeting with Thorg's character. Mm. Okay. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that is a lot of rubble. That is a lot of rubble. Is that too much? Never. There's never too much rubble. Okay, so we're not going to paint on stones, but I do need a few trees. Hmm. I think we're going to go for... Let's pick a type of tree that I like. That looks pretty nice. How about that one? Okay, we'll do that one. Go slightly larger. And we'll just quickly... Oh, hang on a sec. Need to... Uh... Ugh.
It's being a dick again. Being a dick again. Right. I forgot to adjust the uh, where do they grow option. Right there. We won't have them grow too near the top. Okay. And now we have some bodging to do. Ugh. Why is this massive feck off one here? In the words of Sigmar, buggers offs. Right. Doink. Doink. Yep, yeah, because everyone knows baby trees grow in the shadow of daddy trees. Isn't that right? Okay. Let's, uh, oh, there's frickin' douchebags on my path. Douchebag trees on my path. Right. Be gone. Oh, my hand's getting cramp. Right. There we go. There is a lot of crap going on here. Very rocky place, yeah. Very rocky place. Right, size fluctuation a little bit more, a little larger. Right, and we'll do that. Now what we need is some bush. No, bush needs to be smaller. There we go. Right. I mean, you know what? Bush can go anywhere. Let's go. We're going to have a lot of editing to do after this. It won't grow on the rocks, though. We've turned that off. So now what we can do is we can go through our path and just... Uh, Oh dear, cancel, abort. Right, there we go. I see you there, Bush. Right, that's it. There we go. Bush problem solved. Okay, now we need grass. I think we'll go for the more, like... How's this going to look? Hmm... It's either that or we go for like the the more crappy grass or the more yeah that's the one we want okay you go there you go there we'll have the toll house there in a moment but la da dee 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 Right, come on, grow faster. It is a very rocky place. But I'm digging it. Nice map. Do some sort of mossy effects soon. Okay. A bit of that there. Right, definitely need to hide some of the sharp lines of the terrain. That's how you do it. A little bit of grass, just to like when you see a, like a sharp line like that, one here, 
the grass there, grass there. Obviously on the edge of the map it's not going to work that well. You just kind of don't look in that direction, but I'm, I'm liking this. Right, and then we need a convenient looking toll house. Or toll station. Okay, well, we could maybe go for, like, a hybrid. Um, yeah, no, we've already got a door on the tower. No, we could go for something like that, or... No, we need something that's a little more... Uh, come on, what what can we do here? Nope. We could just go scoot straight up here. No, we'll find something. There was a there's a couple of options that will work. Uh, I think something like that's actually probably the the better of the options. Like, just go for something like this. Maybe just sink it down one story. Like, that's pretty cool. I'm not entirely happy, but let's just have a little look at the other buildings. I don't think any of these would look like a toll house. They look too sort of formal. I don't think the castle stuff will as well. Yeah, and these look too... I mean, there's, there's some really nice ones, but I don't think... Like, that's awesome. Wonky as heck. Oh, yeah. Well, this is Warhammer. If anything is not wonky, it's not Warhammer. That's that's the rules. It's the the wonkier the better, you know. Like I'd say that in terms of imperial architecture is pretty bang on point. <laughs> like it's messy enough to be like, "Eh, who would make that?" Right. Cut a quick check. It's very wonky walls. Pretty much. Pretty much. Like, the weird thing about that tower is that it's not wonky. Okay, so this works. Um... Nope, not that, not that. That's a neat, that's a neat building. It's a whole bunch of grass in the way, but... Maybe we just go with one of these. Get rid of the tower. I like that building, that's nice. Hmm. Actually. Right. Go down. Step or two. No one has to know that you once had another window. There we go. Get rid of the tower. Yeah, I agree. I think the tower's holding us back from the glory that we could have of just another building. So these buildings I don't think will work because they're just basically too too nice. They'll do for a lord's manor, but maybe some of the medieval stuff. 
Like, maybe that would do. Like that might work. We we could go for something a little bit more extravagant here, in terms of toll structures. Yeah, I don't like that. But that would have to be like there. I mean, that's not bad. Too nice, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this. Like, it's cool. I can dirty it up a little bit. It's a fortress or encampment. Yeah, exactly. It, it would be like a, a military gatepost. Like, they probably exist in fantasy, but... Let's have a look. Such angriness in this uh, song. Right, I don't think we'll find anything here either. I mean, we could set up a little toll <laughs> toll station in here, but no. Um, and I don't think the medieval stuff's going to work either. That's just going to be... Like, that would work if... But the problem is, is, yeah, okay. Problem is, is that's built to have, like, something on the other side of it. Unless you just, like, pretend that there is something the other side, but it's kind of built to be on the edge of a castle or something like that. Otherwise, it's not a terrible building. Like it, it kind of does the job. I quite like it. I think that leaves us with these. Which is more like the farm... The farm building. So, if we go for, like, here... I mean, you could just do that and then add a little bit of fluff on it. Can't go for those because they're all too, uh, like. No, not doing a three story. Maybe. Uh, can you drop a big rock? I can put big rocks down. I could put a shed down. That might be nice. Okay, I tell you what, I'm I'm actually gonna go with this for a second. Just to check it out. Cause I think that would probably work. I, I think that's okay. Take that one and add a half build into it. I think this one with some bells and whistles will be will be all right. I, I need a couple bells and whistles on it though. I might just see what it's like with a tower. Right, if I line you up perfectly, there we go. <laughs> Nah. Yeah, I, I'm happy with that as is. Right, what can we add on here? 
I do feel like it needs a little bit more... I guess if it's a just a... Ah, that would have been nice. Hmm... Maybe we'll add some scaffolding to it. So I never like to see a building in 40k, or, or fantasy for that matter, that doesn't look like it's been beaten up. Right. Yeah, we're missing some stuff. Oh, my word. Oh! I need to get to bed. Um, Tower-like half building from before. That's what it needs. Um, so you reckon it needs not the religious one, but like this one. Like something like that. That actually doesn't look too bad there. That's not bad. That's not bad. Right, let's do something with these bushes. The one that should be part of the castle. Yeah, I don't think that one fits, though. Like the... Like as, as in, I don't think... I, these are really, like, weird to make fit with stuff, if you know what I mean. Like, I mean, that doesn't actually look terrible. But they, it, it's always kind of got these weird janky bits, you know what I mean? Um, like, they need to be put against something big and flat, ideally. But having something with a platform on top would be sensible, because it does need to protect itself. Ah, we could have a couple of uh, archer slots up here instead. Okay, yeah, I, I'm let I'm actually thinking. Let's just make something from scratch. Can always make them smaller. Yeah, absolutely. Right, I'm going to make something here. I need a starting point, though. Because I want it to be fortified, right? Just not, like, uber fortified. That's definitely too fortified. Where was the other one that was a bit crappy, but not really crappy? Oh, it was in the castle section, wasn't it? Hmm. I don't know, man. These are all definitely too gothic. 100% too gothic. They're not the ones I'm looking for. Where's the where's the weird gatehouses I was looking at earlier? That's back straight back to gothic again. There we go. I think Okay, I've got an idea. If I find that weird tower that I nearly used earlier here. And then I add one of these onto it. Maybe not even in that exact place, but... Right. Hmm. I think a bit more bodging and we'll be onto something here. A bit more bodging. <laughs> Maybe a lot more bodging, okay? But we'll get there.
Oh, itch, itch, itch. Oh, I've been bitten by something. Right. Ah. Well, now you go smaller, you damn lights. They don't normally work. There we go. Um... Yeah, we don't want like a, a random... I like that. You could kind of put a balcony inside. Ugh. Nope. Nope, nope. Yeah, no, I, th I think that might have to do. Yay, Mark, how's it going? We're bodging a lot of stuff together. I was just trying to make a something that would pass as a toll house. It's not quite. Okay, I've I've actually I've got another idea. Full of ideas today. I need a top that will be Okay. Because at the moment it looks too. Oh, I don't know. It looks too something though. That that looks a little bit better. But it's a bit like a, a random castle in the arse end of nowhere. Ah, oh dear. How are you doing, Mark? How are you doing? Are you looking forward to the mystical, magical day? So uh, let's just do a little recap while we're here. This map is a work in progress. I'm going to save it anyway. But let's do a little recap of what we've made today in, what, like two hours? Pretty happy with that. Right, load map number one. 16th. Should be fun. I'm looking forward to it. We've got our first five players set up. Turns out we've got eight, not nine, because I was including myself. So we've got eight players. One can't really make it. Um, so we're actually down to seven. But we'll run with a maximum of five. But that's okay, because I really prefer to run with four. So... If more than three people can't make it, then, well, we might run with smaller sessions. So. Tower a bit strong, you think? It's working. Mm. So this is potentially an elven ruin. Not exactly sure yet. Just sort of like a, a holy site somewhere. Maybe unholy. Who knows? But this is... Uh, Oh, I love it. I love it. I love the sky in the background, too. It's just so... I'll tell you what this this does need, and, and it needs a little bit... little bit less saturation. It needs a, the height of the sky to be a little bit further down. Intensity to be a little bit lower. There you go. Temperature to be... There we go. And I think we need... Oh, no, we still have fog. Right, there we go. The unintended fire is pissing Smokey the bear off. <laughs> oh, the untended fire. I was like, it was intended. Yeah. That's so nice. Like the god rays coming down from the sky. God. Such nice software. So many different pictures. Is that an eternal flame? Who knows? This is a little marshy bit. So you could easily take like 10, 15 images from different places here. Be like, okay. Uh, up ahead. You stop in a clearing in the forest. And you can see... Fuck all. Oh, there you go. You can make out some large stones atop of a hill. 
don't think you can actually see that from down here because there's too much shrubbery. Slowly go through the forest. Actually, you can press F now just to walk. Uh, and then you can run. They're chasing me. They're chasing me. Oh, that's so good. I love it. Okay, Beastman Cookout. Right, so that's map number one. We've got map number two, which I think map number two is pretty damn good, actually. And if I just wanted a quick combat map, I wouldn't go to all of these lengths. Not enough moons. Yeah, that's true, Arthur. Uh, this is map number two, which is a forgotten battlefield. I'll tell you what we do need to do, actually, is these, these fences need to be a little more, like... little less organized there we go sad that someone didn't make it yeah sky with extra moons there you go that's better i mean that's a pretty map right i like it i think you should like it too because this one has got like all sorts of sexiness going on you see in the background a tower as you approach you realize firstly the fence is really short you step over the fence, eyeballing the tower. You realise it is not a tower, but scaffolding. Someone was trying to make a tower once upon a time. Where are they now? Who killed them? Nobody knows. Why is there blur everywhere? Maybe you're drunk. Maybe that grog's finally settling in. Right. Oh, I like this one. This one's just really eerie. Like, that's nice. I like that. The Watchtower ruins the artificial. Do you mean the little bit on top? I like this one. I like this. This, this was a Watchtower being constructed. I mean, it is... I do accept... That it's not perfectly even. My reasoning was that it had slipped. But I, I could I could do a little bit of that. So there you go. It's fallen a bit. It's landed. Thing is, is it, I need something up there. Otherwise, it doesn't look doesn't look right. What we'll, what we'll do, what we'll do to appease you. Let's put that there. Doink. We'll, do, we'll get this, we'll get this. There you go. Looks like someone plonked a house on top of scaffolding. Yeah, it's because they were making it from the top down, which is why it fell over. Ah, oh, I like that. I like that. It was a quick makeshift tower that, well, they managed to quickly create a crow's nest for an emergency defence. But in their haste, it toppled and everyone fell and died. Should have hired a dwarf. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I, like, I like this one. I like the mist. Definitely should have hired a dwarf. The thing is, is there's no tower that would look broken enough to actually sit up there. Like the... I mean, you could have it as just the top. But then it, it doesn't look... I can delete this because... I don't know, I like the look of it looking like a tower. Hmm... Mm. 
Mm, well, obviously now I have loads of plants there. I'm going to think about it. I'm going to think about that one. I, I accept your point. Right, on to the next. Hey, here's the dwarves. Um, with a slight issue with incredibly bright fog at the moment. Right, no bloom, please. Ah, bloom threshold. There we go. Fog, we just want to lift that height down a little bit. Get, to get the density down just a tad. That's not bad. I think I, I think I agree with the others that it did actually look better. I think it did look better when it was like this. Whoa. All right, come on. Doink, doink. Could put some flags on the top, maybe. I like this one. We know there is no door. There is a door. Here's your door. It's a good door, actually. I'm impressed with that. You can see the... Oh, Jesus. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous, this, isn't it? Like, how much detail you can see here. And then you can just keep going back all the way... You're basically running Unity Engine. Um, as you can see, like the, the map's actually quite barren, but it just goes to show what a decent camera angle can get you. You just kind of imagine it as being filled out. I like it. <sighs> the right one's a bit too high. No, it lines up with this. Kind of. Well... I think it should be better there, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh. This is, this is a horrible mess. But no one would ever fall off of here and die, right? That would never happen. Oh, I know what I could do. It's not like the lack of offence that I have in my town. Um... Right, where is it? Whoa. Oh, hang about. Oh, God damn it. Now I have to line these up properly. So much work. Okay, maybe that looks a bit better. I think something else you'd probably do to make it look a little bit more dwarven is you would make it look like it's actually in the side of the mountain so like I would probably go sculpt this is where it goes horribly wrong I've got the save file, so we we can we can fix this. Oh, don't you dare leave a spiky bit there like you sometimes do, you absolute penis. Everything is fine.
See, now it looks like it's built into the sign sides of it. So I, I think that looks a little bit better. And you could probably do, like, you know, some random... Uh, that doesn't look quite right, does it? You might, you'd either need a hell of a lot more or less rocks. I'm undecided yet. I'm actually undecided. Oh, i tell you what you could try and do, actually, is... No, where is it? I have an idea. I have a cunning plan. Um, okay. Right, cunning plan. Cunning plan, cunning plan. <laughs> that didn't work at all. Doink. Okay. I mean, that's probably not a bad place, though, to actually just start with this and build your Dwarven Carracks directly on it. Depends on what scale you're going for, but... Like, if I'm going... Where could I aim for? Like, here. Drag it. Go down. Go that way a bit. Go here. And then you can tilt it, hide it. Bump it, shimmy jump it. Could even go just make everywhere winter, which might help. Okay. Uh, Okay, we'll tilt you down a little bit. I don't like the fact that I've like completely lost a tower there. Like that kind of works. I can there's a few bits I can fix. I'm not super happy with it, but uh lock. Sculpt. There you go. Yeah, it doesn't really work. Next time, I think what I'd do is just have a mountain like that and, and then do it. Maybe. Because that mountain just looks better than my current one. The problem is, though, with these is they only go so big... Like, the, the detail on them is great for background. And is is absolutely, like... Absolutely great, but you can only go so close before you're like, eh, this is missing loads of textures. Like for here... I mean, heck, that's not a bad battle map as it is. You could just go there and lock this. Whoa! Forest down here. There you go. I'll make my best metal map yet. 
metal map. <laughs> right, that goes there. Flowers, reeds, let's go bushes. Mm, quickly change the fog, get rid of that. Doink. Why is there still fog here? There we go. There you go, a beautiful battle map. Whoa, God, that makes me dizzy. Guys, I'm going to hit the sack now because I'm absolutely crackered. It is late and Hydra needs some sleep. But we've got a few maps out of today and a couple of them I would be quite comfortable using. We definitely have a nice uh, undead marsh, perhaps even trolls. Troll marsh, maybe? We'll see. Uh, we will see. Could even be a witch there. Who knows? Well, it's been an absolute pleasure. I will see you again in future. Take care of yourselves. Ooh, and remember Sunkist tomorrow.